Teardown Tuesday today, we're going to look inside an ATX power supply I picked up the other day. These are actually getting rarer and rarer to find used and cheap. And they're useful for all sorts of things for us guys. If you look online all over the damn place, they've got numerous ways to turn this into a bench top power supply, but since I've already got three of those, I don't really need another one. And this one was dirt cheap, but it does have all sorts of useful parts. Anyway, back to our story here. So, yeah, and the question is whether or not you take something like this and build a power supply out of it, you know, for the power supply, unless you get it free, and then you got to buy a paddle meter on the posts and everything else, and that's going to cost you about the same to buy one from China with everything included, so hey, why bother? And we're taking it apart. I've taken out the main screws already. Just say it's time there. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Yeah. Probably from the mid 70s. Or mid 90s, I should say. Got a nice wonkin' big power switch. Could find a use for that. High voltage. Two nice power hookups. Nicely screwed in. Nowadays, all you find is the stamped in ones, and they're hard to work on. Some nice heat sinks. Some wires which you throw away. Crap capacitors. These chokes might be okay. Inductor there, a nice big freaking inductor there. Those are useful. Gotta love the bridge bridge rectifier here. The huge big heat sink. And then the other rectifiers over there. So let's take this one off. Really just interested in the heat sinks. No thermal gel between them. That wouldn't have been very efficient. Doomed to failure.
So, finished stripping off the board. I figured what the heck, it was pretty quick and I could take the caps off. Got that. I was thinking about taking this chip off too, but really it's a 75 cent chip that's still in production. It's just a, a voltage regulator. Got all the transistors off. That'd be useful someday. They're all nice 600 milliwatt, millivolt ones. No real reason to take out these other diodes and, you know, one or two little resistors with no leads on them, as I've got piles of them. So, that can now just go into the junk box. And there's all the stuff I got. A uh, whole whack of transistors. These are quite nice. Some high value Mylar film capacitors. A couple of transformers. A whole whack of chokes. Some big caps, which I'll test shortly. Some little caps, which are probably all crap, but you never know. They come in useful. Not that I have any use for them, but you know, when you're building prototypes, it's useful to have spare parts. I'm going to be doing a power supply soon and using big ass diodes. And with the last fiasco I had with my last mini power supply or power converter, frying up eight diodes to create one little bridge rectifier, maybe it's a good idea to have some big ones around. And of course, a little fuse as well, 5 amp. But that's a nice through hole fuse holder which I can use. And that's it for today.